Which is quickest in a drag race? The new Lamborghini Urus Performante, the Tesla Model X Plaid, the BMW X5M, the Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT, the Mercedes AMG GLE 63. To find out, we're gonna race them over the standing quarter mile. Oh yes. So let me tell you about the car I'm sat in. Everyone says that I go for the fastest car. Well, I haven't on this occasion because I've picked the BMW. It has a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 that puts out 625 horsepower and 750 Newton meters of torque. It drives all four wheels via an eight speed automatic gearbox with launch control. It's quite heavy though, this car weighs about 2.4 tons and it costs 121,000 pounds. Let's find out about the Porsche from its driver. Porsche driver, introduce yourself, please. Hello, Matt. It is Yanni from Yanomize, and I feel a little bit conflicted and sad. Why is that? Go on, explain. Is it because you're in a Porsche and you know that it's better than a Lamborghini Urus? One, because I'm in a Porsche, even though this is a Cayenne GT and it's bad boy, but there's a Puffer Monte Urus next to me, and that's the car I've got coming. So I'm a bit conflicted. I'm like, do I really want to race this hard and hopefully I don't win, or do I want to win? I, I, I don't know what to do. Well, you're so competitive, you are going to win, but you are, I think, going to be disappointed when you realise that the Porsche Turbo GT is a better car than the Lamborghini Urus Performante. Let's be honest, though, how good does it look? This is stealth PPF, yeah, but that looks incredible in the yellow three-stage pearl paint. Anyway, enough talking about colours and stuff, right? We need you to do the stats on your car. Uh, it's a four-litre V8 twin turbo. 612 brake horsepower. No, stop shaking your head. Have another go, it's a bit more than that. 170 brake horsepower. <laughs> No, it's not that either. 640 horsepower. How much torque? Uh, 600. 850. What does it weigh? Two ton. 2.2 tons. And how much does it cost? You probably know this. It's your mate's car, Bab. 145. Eh, not far off. It was 150,000 pounds. Anyway, enough of you. Uh, let's move on to the driver of the Lamborghini. Introduce yourself, Urus Performante owner. I think it's one of the first in the country, isn't it? Hello, it's Mark McCann. Yeah, um, apparently so. It's a dead early car anyway. You should know the stats on your car. You've just bought it, go on. Only because I've revised because you told me to. <laughs> yeah. So it is a four litre V8 twin turbo, 660 horsepower, 850 newton meters of torque, 2.1 tons, eight speed auto. Yes. No, almost right. But remember, when we're talking about the power, there's the number, there's a good way to remember the number. Remember? Ah, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> 666. The devil's number. Anyway, let's move on to the Mercedes. Tell us about your Mercedes, Mercedes driver. This Mercedes is a GLE 63. It has another four litre twin turbo V8. It's a bit down on power, 612 horsepower, 850 newton meters of torque though, so that's pretty good going. Uh, it's all wheel drive, nine speed multi-clutch automatic gearbox. It's heavy though, 2.4 tons, and uh, it's quite pricey, 124 grand for this car. Oh, you get an A plus for that. Well done, Nick. And finally, let's go to the driver of the electric car. Oh, I'm Richard Simons from RSEV. Now we don't get this in the UK yet, so big thanks to Timo and Oliver for bringing this over from Germany. This is my first time driving the Plaid and I'm facing a runway, so this is gonna be exciting. I've got 1,020 horsepower, 1,020 newton meters of torque, and this was 150,000 euros. Ooh, quite expensive, but a lot of torque and a lot of horsepower. This could be a bit of a humiliating experience for the internal combustion engine. Before we race, I want to say a big thanks to everybody who's lent us their cars. I've put their details on the screen now. You can also follow them by following the links in the description. Plus, for those who like their stats, if you pause the video now, you can actually look at these car stats side by side at your leisure. And if you like these kind of videos, you, you need to be subscribed for, you absolutely do. So make sure you have done that if you haven't done so already. Anyway, let's do it. Let's go on with the race. Before we race, we're going to the customary car wound sound check and I'm going to rev up this 4.4 litre twin turbo V8. And it's soft limiter at five. Okay, Yanni, rev up the Porsche. I think that sounds a bit down. Soft, mate. Sorry, what did your wife say? <laughs> <laughs> Game over. Right, um, come on, Mark. There'll be no soft limiter in a Lamborghini Urus Performante, otherwise, what is the point? Go on, rev it up. <laughs> Was that a soft limiter, Mark? No, I can go all the way. Mark goes all the way. Yanni doesn't. Yanni goes halfway. That's got an sports exhaust standard, a Krapovich. I usually say Akrafovich, but they get upset if you say that. It is a Krapovich, that's how you say it. But, you know, I don't say Porsche correctly, so I should probably call it Akrapovich. Oh 
with the, nothing to report on the rails. The radios just come on. Oh, I hate traffic. Why do people have the blooming traffic information on? Anyway, I don't know how to turn it off. Right. Um, anyway, let's move on to the Mercedes. Let's listen to that. That sounds rubbish as well, Nick. I can't really hear anything from here. Soft limiter, yeah? Yeah, big softy. Couple of pops and bangs, but yeah, another soft limiter at 4K. But they all sound awesome compared to, go on Richard, let's hear your car. Don't make me do this, Matt. Actually, do you know what you can do? Hasn't it got that like toy box thing where you can actually play music or whatever sound you want from a speaker behind the front bumper? It's in here somewhere. Um, what should I do? A goat noise or something like that. You won't hear it from here. It's gonna go That is one noise I can do. Do you wanna hear my goat? I can do a really good goat. Right, that's not as good. When I'm under pressure, I can't do it. That was like a sheep turning into a goat. I can do both. So a sheep is like bah, bah, bah. That's the goat. Wow, we have found a new talent for you. Move over car wow. Matt with the voices of the animals. That's it, voice wow. Anyway, listen, if you're thinking about Watson had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> anyway, enough of that non. Let's race now, finally. Brakes. Oh, come on. Oh, bye bye. Did I jump the start? Come on. The Turbo GT's gone. Oh, here comes the Lambo now, though. Can he catch me? Oh, man, come on. It's only me last. I had an awful launch. This thing just pushed through its brakes. It was way off the pace it should have been. How about you, Mark? You look like you had the same problem. It sort of goes and then has a massive, massive stall and then goes again. Mercedes, like, what happened to you? I had a good launch. I think I was third for a little while, but then uh, the weight was really holding me back and lack of power. And then I think I fell to the back. I think I was behind you, Matt. Yeah, it's annoying. Um, Tesla has just smashed everyone, didn't it? He's so far away, you can't hear us. Anyway, Yanni, out of the internal combustion engine cars, you won by a mile. That thing just launched properly, didn't it? No messing around, pushing through its brakes or anything like that. No bogging down, it just went. Porsche never fails when it comes to launch. I will be honest though, I may have jumped, maybe. Okay, if you're saying you jumped, you definitely did jump, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, it means that that race doesn't count. Um, we get another go, Mark. Yippee! And maybe if we keep doing false starts, we'll rip through that Tesla's battery and have more of a chance because Richard, you were just I hate that. I hate traffic. I hate bloody traffic. Go away. I, I, uh, who puts traffic on me? What kind of old person puts traffic on? Who had this car last? Hey. Eh? Anyway, yeah, sorry, Richard, that, that outburst. Um, how was it for you? I'm just clinging on for dear life. This thing is unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, you're in a completely different race. You're just on your own out there. Anyway, let's let's try again. That was the start, baby! Come on! Ah, killed the power again. Oh, Mark. Mark! Oh, yeah! Don't let the Lambo down! Matt Watson's gonna have me. Okay, first of all, gotta to go to you, Mark. It's sort of, it has ESC off, but then it like wheel spins and cuts all the power, but Yanni is gonna to have to share my discomfort because he's got one coming tomorrow. So he's gonna be just as disappointed as me. That time, I launched like a demon. I was close to the Turbo GT. Yeah, but close doesn't make you win, mate. Yeah, and you weren't close to the Tesla. The Tesla's still reversing down the track, mate. Who brought him? Can you even see him on the GoPro so far away? Were brakes extra? Was that an optional extra you didn't tick? We're going to find out in a bit, aren't we? The Tesla's weakness. I think we'll leave it now. I think is what it is. Unless everyone wants to do another drag race. I'd like to go again because it hasn't done its full thing yet. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll give you one last go, Mark. And this is the final thing. This is it, right? Your car's messing about a bit. It's not my fault. It's temperamental. It's Italian. It's the number of the beast. 
it's new, it was the wrong choice. Should have got Turbo GT really, shouldn't you? Yes, you are right. Yes to all those, because I've probably bought about two of them for this. See you, Matt. Bye-bye. Come on, BMW. Here comes the Aurus. Come on, Aurus. Beat the X5M. Come on, BMW. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, you bugger. That was a wicked race, Mark. I saw your car stutter maybe a little bit. This just dug and went, but you were starting to reel me in. I'm not sure if you had me on the line. I'm pretty sure I won. I think I beat Yanni as well and the Tesla. Yes, that's right. I wonder if we can edit it so it looks like that. Go on, editors, do something clever. Yes, yes, Adam, Adam, yes. <laughs> so then what exactly happened? Well, the Tesla won, completing the standing quarter mile in 10.3 seconds. The Porsche second with a time of 11.4 seconds and the BMW and Lamborghini crossed the line in exactly the same time of 11.7 seconds. The AMG was last, completing the standing quarter mile in 12.2 seconds. Now we go on a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. Auto for the gearbox and auto driving mode. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this kicked down so well. What was that Porsche doing? Wow, that took forever. <laughs> Easy. And the Lambo did well. Where's that Porsche? What the hell? Okay, Richard, before you go out of range, because you're miles ahead of us. Yeah, you smashed everyone. Instant response, electric motor, no gearbox, just off you went. Yeah? Yeah. Mercedes? Oh, this was a bit better for you, wasn't it? Didn't you actually beat the Lamborghini? No, I didn't. I beat Yanni at first. He did pull past me in the end, which is a shame. I've not won anything yet. I've not not come last yet. Did I beat the Porsche? Mate, I'll be honest, yeah. You're gonna see this on the camera. I put my foot to the floor and nothing happened for about a week. And I was like, what is going on? And you lot were just gone. So yeah, I don't know what to say. Okay, so that means that's a long answer to yes, you beat me, Matt. Mark, I think you're ahead, weren't you? Do you know with that Aventador when it's in this mode and it kicks down, it takes forever, just like Janice. This thing was straight down a gear and she was off. Much better than the old Aventador. Anyway, let's take the gearboxy thing out of the equation, right? Let's go sports modes. Riding race again, from 50 miles an hour again. This time the cars are in their sportiest settings. And manual mode for the gearbox, roll on from third gear. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Good, 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 good. First of all, Tesla once again just walked it. That was interesting, Mark. Your car shot off so fast, but then it was like it hit a limiter or something. Oh, well, Laugh, I was too busy looking at the handsome man next to me. And I forgot to change gear. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> it's just his looks. He's beautiful, man, isn't he? The car is, yeah. It's better looking than an Urus, isn't it? I done all right that time. I ain't going to lie. I was cheering on the Urus. I was hoping the Urus would beat me, but it didn't. Do you want to try it while changing gear properly, Mark? We'd like another go. If I look over to Nick, sorry, Nick, but you're not as attractive as Yanni, so then I won't be put off. Yeah, do that. Right, let's go again. And Mark, watch your rev count, yeah? Three, two, one, go. Oh, yes. Sake. 
Okay, Mark, what happened that time because you were slower that time? I put my wing mirrors in. It made it slower. I beat you to the half mile. It's a new car, I don't to turn the heating off, true story. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Now we're going to have a brake test from 100 miles an hour, the car which stops in the shortest distance wins when we reach a live fall emergency stop. However, if you'd rather watch another drag race involving one of these cars, really cool, very close drag race, click on the pop out banner up there, follow the link in the description below. It said, if not, Stay with us for this brake test, which I think the Tesla is going to now lose something. But by how much? Let's find out. This could be scary. Might put you off a Tesla Model X Plaid altogether. Here we go. Ugh. Okay, Mark! You're winning! Again. I'm pretty sure again. Oh, it made me feel sick. That was brilliant. Massive, great big carbon ceramics, and they actually work. That stopped. I mean, it just like dug in. That Porsche stopped really well. That's on carbons as well. Smash this BMW. Look, I'm like almost a car's length ahead of it. And same again with the Mercedes, almost a car's length ahead of me. But what is going on with that Tesla? <laughs> yeah, a pedal hard to the floor. It's soft. And then the car wasn't even steady. It was kind of snaking around a little bit. And then I'm looking in the mirror. You're just miles back. That is not good. Not good at all. Um, what do you reckon, Yanni? All I know is when the cameraman has to go that far back to get all the cars, you know something's gone wrong. Um, listen, you expect the Urus to win, um, but the Cayenne GT Turbo, it is a very nice car. I'm still a Lambo fan, but yeah, this done well, to be fair. What do you mean you expect the Lambo? You don't expect it to win. I didn't expect it to win. Only you expected it to win because you're just like some kind of like crazy Lamborghini disciple. Yeah, I'm like a Lambo fanboy, like we have BMW fanboys that follow this channel. Sorry guys, I let you down a little bit with this car, but I think you did all right considering, you know.